Hi food tubers, I am going to show you one of the most beautiful classic Irish recipes. So much so that it would have Michael Flatley river dancing under the dinner table. Bacon and cabbage pie is top of my list for a brisk spring evening. It's cheap to make and so simple. Great for a family midweek meal. It starts off by boiling some cabbage. I'm using Savoy cabbage here, but you can use whatever cabbage you have. You just need to take off the outer leaves and we're going to shred it up. Roughly chop up a head of cabbage and plunge into boiling salted water. Chop up an onion and fry in some melted butter. Season with sea salt and ground black pepper. I've got my onions frying off and now it's time to drain the cabbage. In my pot, we've got the onions and the butter beautifully caramelizing down. Now what we're gonna do is make a roux. So I am adding about a tablespoon or two in here and you need to just whisk it through together until you have a nice paste. Now a roux sounds fancy, but it's a simple mixture of butter and flour that you can use to thicken any sauce or stew. You need to cook out that flour until you get that kind of smell of almost baked pastry. And once you've got that smell, we're gonna add in some liquid stock and we're gonna add in a little bit of milk until we have a beautiful white sauce. Pour in some beef stock and whisk until smooth. Then add in a good glug of cream to finish it off. When you're making roux, don't panic. Just constantly stir and you will get a beautiful smooth consistency at the end, just like this one. Should be nice and creamy and those little flecks of onion are gonna add a wonderful sweetness in here. Add in a teaspoon of English mustard and season with sea salt and ground black pepper. Now that the white sauce is seasoned, I'm gonna add in the ham and I've just chopped it into nice thick chunks. We're gonna add it straight to the hot white sauce and then we're gonna add in the cabbage. I'm using thick chunky ham fillet from my local butcher. You can use bacon, but for a full salty flavor, you can't beat it. Remove from the heat and tumble into a casserole pot. That might already look good enough to eat, but I'm gonna go one step further and I'm gonna bake it with a beautiful puff pastry lid. So I'm gonna grab my puff pastry now. When you're making this bacon and cabbage pie, you can do this with short crust pastry, but personally for me, the best thing about this is when you cook this in the oven and you cut through that beautiful layers of flaky pastry and you get into that beautiful savory bacon and cabbage mixture. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna roll out my puff pastry and then we're gonna cut out a circle and then cover this. To save on time, I'm using pastry from a packet, but if you're feeling adventurous, Jamie's got a great little video to show you how to make your own. Click on the link below to see it now. Brush the sides of the casserole pot with beaten egg. Lay the puff pastry over the top of the pot, making sure to push into the sides. So now, you don't have to be too careful about this, but just using a knife, cut the pastry off, leaving a little lip the whole way around. And it has to be one of my favorite noises in the kitchen, the sound of a knife cutting the pastry off. I love it. Using a fork, press the pastry against the sides and brush with more beaten egg. Once that top is completely egg washed, it's gonna go really nice and golden in the oven. But to make sure that it doesn't seep over the sides, I'm just gonna poke a little hole in the top to allow the steam to escape. Now this goes into the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for about 25 to 30 minutes until the puff pastry has puffed up and become nice and golden. Check this out. This is what a bacon and cabbage pie should look like. Beautiful layers of puff pastry, nice and golden on top. And underneath there, you've got this beautiful savory mix of that bacon and cabbage. All that's left to do is tuck in. So I'm gonna serve this up, but if you want the recipe, make sure to subscribe in the box below. You'll get the recipe down there. You'll also be able to subscribe and to leave me a comment. So enjoy the meal, and I want you to try this recipe. Have fun, food tubers.